Hello everybody and welcome to Milestone Study. My name is Anusha and in this video I'm going to talk about the new questions that are going to be introduced in December in PT test. Those who are unaware of what's going on in the PDE test, let me tell you that PDE has announced that they are going to add two new questions in the speaking test, which will not be scored for now. Okay, so if you are taking your test in December and January, you will be encountering these two new questions in your exam, but there won't be any warning or any flagged questions. You may not realize that those are the new questions. Therefore, we need to know what sort of questions will come and how to face them in the exam. First thing, these are not scored items, which means you do not need to worry about your overall score. And even if you don't like, you don't need to perform these questions, okay? Then why is PDE putting them in the test? The reason is they are experimenting with these new questions. So let's read what these new trial questions are and what their intentions are, okay? Now, remember the dates from 11th December 2023 till January 2024, which means after 10 days until the end of January means 31st of January. You could see two questions or one questions that you have never seen before, that your tutors have never taught you before and you have never encountered on YouTube. PDE is trialing, means experimenting with some new questions and see if they work, if they don't work, how students are going to answer them. Internally, they could be marking the questions as well, but just that our scorecard will not reflect those marks. Questions are similar to others that already exist okay that's what we are going to see what kind of questions they are because we won't be marked we do not need to do it okay you can simply skip the questions and here are two types of questions one is respond to a situation and the second is summarize group discussion let's begin with respond to a situation What's going to happen in the task? In this task, you will listen to and read a prompt describing an everyday situation in an academic setting. You then provide a spoken response describing what you would say in the situation. Now, this is like a sample question, okay, uh, which relates to this type, respond to a situation. Respond to a situation. For this question type, you will listen to and read a spoken situation. You will then provide a spoken response. First, listen to and read the situation. You have an essay due tomorrow. Whatever they are speaking is also written here. Okay, so this is something that is happening for the first time in PTE because normally whatever they speak will just be in a speaking format and whatever they write will be in the writing format. Okay, but now here you can see both of them spoken and the written one. But you've been feeling sick for the past two weeks. You went to the clinic and got a doctor's note. You feel better, but have to ask your professor for an extension over the weekend. You go to your professor's office. What do you say to him? This is not like a lecture, it's a question, okay? So what I feel is this is similar to answer short questions. Just that in answer short questions, there used to be general type of questions like uh, IQ kind of questions, like what is the opposite of top? What is the spelling of this? You know, uh, how many days are there in a week? So that sort of is irrelevant to actually, um, you know, to, to the PTE test, isn't it? So how many days are there in a week? See, so this is not testing our English skills. So I feel that they are introducing this new question in place of answer short questions. But again, that's just my speculation. Do not take this as sure shot, okay? I'm just guessing it. Uh, so by replacing answer short questions, they might be giving this question. And you can see here, beginning in nine seconds, that means there will be a gap. Like in retail lecture, you will see 10 seconds of gap before you speak, okay? Let's see what happens after this nine second. Once the audio finishes, you have 10 seconds to prepare your answer. After a short tone. Just like retail lecture again, you have a beep tone and you speak, start speaking as soon as you see the word recording uh, and the microphone will open for 40 seconds. Okay, they, uh, they've said it here. You will have 40 seconds to answer the question. Okay. 
But we do not use 40 seconds in describe image and retail lecture. We've never used 40 seconds. So similar to that, you may not need to use 40 seconds. Okay. Uh, so for, let's hear a sample answer. The microphone opens. You have 40 seconds to speak your answer into the microphone. Try to respond to the situation as completely as you can. Hi, Professor. Sorry to bother you. I know we have an essay due tomorrow, but I've been quite sick. Okay, so that is the overall thing. So what do you say to the professor? You want an extension over the weekend. Okay, you cannot submit your uh, essay, which is due tomorrow. So you want some kind of uh, grace period. Okay, so you say, hi, professor. Sorry to bother you. I've been feeling sick, so could you please extend my due date uh, for the essay until Monday, okay? And then you click next, okay? So that's what they require us to do. But as we know, PD has some kind of, you know, loopholes. So what I feel is you can just repeat these words from the questions and you can still score full points, okay? For example, you can just say, Hi, Professor. I have an essay due tomorrow, but I have been feeling sick for the past two weeks. I went to the clinic and got a doctor's note. I feel better now, but have, I, have, I want to ask you for an extension over the weekend. Could you please grant that to me or something like that, you know, so or thank you so much. OK, I think that's enough. Thank you so much. Yeah. So just add one line in the end, something in the beginning, say, hi, professor. Good morning, professor, blah, blah, blah. And then read out the questions that you have on the front as read aloud and just make you into I or my your friend into my friend, uh, my your parent, your mother into my mother, my parent like that. OK, just changing some pronouns and you'll be set for this question. But hang on. Um, we have to wait until the questions roll in the exam and also have to wait when they start the scoring system because now we cannot say anything about the scoring, okay? Anyway, that's a lot of talking. Let's go on to the next question, which is summarize group discussion. So far, you did retail lecture where only one or two people were speaking and instead of a discussion there were like a lecture you know in a seminar one person was speaking about a topic but now you will have a group okay so in this task you will listen to three people so there will be three voices could be male voices all three male voices could be male female whatever okay and then you have to provide a spoken response summarizing the discussion which is exactly retail lecture okay but What's different? Let's see. Summarize group discussion. For this question type, you will hear three people having a discussion. Three students are discussing living on campus. The people at the accommodation office want to know who's coming back to live on campus next year. Now, the first line was just like an introduction, okay? It wasn't a part of the discussion. They're just giving us that... Um, Kind of okay three people are talking about something we've got to let them know for sure by next week it sounds like most people are coming back what are you guys going to do have you decided yet yeah i have i've decided to keep living on campus once the audio finishes okay now the audio will not be short it will be long enough for us to write lots of words okay now the catch is after the beep tone so that you got 10 seconds before you answer. And after that beep tone, you have two minutes to give your response. Okay. That's a lot of time. So I'm guessing 10 seconds may not be enough in this question time. Uh, and we may need to come up with some uh, complex structures. Uh, but let's see what they say further. You have 10 seconds to prepare your answer. After a short tone, the microphone opens. You have two minutes to speak your answer into the microphone. Summarize what you heard. Three students are talking about where they're going to live next year. 
One of them is asking the other students. Yes. So see, so she's just summarizing whatever they talked about. Uh, she gave a topic. And then after that, one student said this, one student said that. So again, we don't need to worry much. There could be some templates that we can use, okay? And rather, I'd say, you can just say the talk, the audio was mainly about accommodation and also about blah, 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 and also about blah, blah, blah. I think that's enough. Thank you so much. Okay. Okay. Now, to conclude these two questions, the first is like answer short questions, but similar to read aloud where you just need to change some pronouns. Uh, but we have to wait for more sample questions to decide what exactly to do. Then in the second one, it's just like retail lecture, but talking for a bit longer and having more words to speak. Uh, obviously, clarity, fluency, pronunciation, these will all be needed. Uh, but for now, until January 31st, you do not need to worry about this question type. You can skip it. If you want to attempt, attempt it. Okay. There is one problem, though. You will not know where these questions will fall. It could be in the middle or in the end as well, wherever they want. OK, so they haven't decided or they haven't revealed uh, if it will be before describe image, after describe image. You just have to be alert and uh, see. Okay. Um, as I said, to just as I said, to uh, to differentiate the questions, First one you see as a read aloud, but you will have a question to it, okay, in the end, and it's like a situation. The second one, there will be three people speaking, and it's a long speech uh, with long time to speak as well, okay? So this is, uh, these will be some distinctions. We are going to read some of the common questions here where they, it's like FAQs, okay? Now, first one is why is PT including these questions? The reality is that they know we are getting 90 by 90 for no reason, just by saying and also about and also about. Uh, so they want to change the system and make it, uh, you know, as authentic as IELTS. OK, uh, so they are saying um, we want to see how test takers respond to them and uh, they, it will help us in our research. So they will listen to these answers that you've spoken and uh, see the loopholes maybe. OK, and they, they're trying to keep a check. Okay. Uh, in the system, okay, and uh, revise their marking criteria, maybe, maybe, okay, guys. The next question is, which PT test have these new question types? It's PT academic, which we all take for the study purpose or for migration purpose, uh, and also for UKVI, that means whoever is taking uh, academic UKVI for UK, you will be encountering these, and it's between December and Jan. Now, will these be scored? Definitely not for now, okay? Mm, it will not affect your scores in the speaking section. It's just for data. That means they wanna see how we're gonna do. Then do I need to prepare for them? Um, not necessary. Uh, as I said, just use retail lecture template and just try and speak like read aloud, but just make pronouns as you into I and that's it, okay? Uh, can I skip the questions? Uh, yes, you can, but they encourage not to because they want to gather as many responses as possible. Uh, will the new questions be flagged? Flag means will there be any uh, warning or signals that, you know, these are the new ones? No, there won't be any signals. There won't be any warnings or any different colors, okay? Uh, they will just appear as the regular questions. Uh, once you click next, you will see the questions. So you have to understand by the nature of it. Okay. Is it a question type? Is it a uh, written lecture type where three people are discussing? Okay. Just understand with that, uh, by that. Now, also, you will notice that before, if the speaking section was finishing in 15 minutes, now it could take 20 minutes. Okay. So don't be overwhelmed. Don't be tired. Um, just keep your flow, okay? Now, is PTE academic changing? No, this is just a trial to help us with ongoing PTE research. So for now, it's not changing. 
uh, they will only speak up when it actually changes. So they even are not sure if they should introduce these questions now. Okay. So once they uh, get successful in the research, that's when uh, they will change the system. They will take time. It's not like a one day change, one day, and then you wake up tomorrow and it's going to change. Okay. We'll get notifications. We'll get time to prepare. You can always reschedule your test. Okay. So what I suggest every test taker, if you are taking your test really soon, make it before 31st of January. Okay? If you need your score, even in February or March, make it before January. Okay, uh, Because after January, when they introduce the new questions, they might change their marking criteria. We might have to change our templates. Okay, uh, We don't know as yet. So whoever is watching this video. If you want to plan for the PT test, two months will be enough for you. In fact, we have uh, different courses like, you know, one month course and two month course. Okay. So you can uh, enroll in one of them right now and then you can start your preparation journey. You get your score before Jan and then you are free. Whoever are struggling with the test, do not worry. Okay. Don't add any fuel to your worry because it's not going to change anything. You are struggling anyway, okay? So when the new questions get introduced, we will have new strategies and new templates if needed. If not, then we'll just do with the existing ones. Also, do not take any decisions impulsively, okay? Just because your friend is doing it, your friend is getting the score, doesn't mean you do it, okay? Just because your friend is ahead of you, doesn't mean you are behind, okay? You are on your own timeline. But having said that, I do recommend all of you to give your full time doing PTE test, okay? Especially those who are weak in English, you need to dedicate full time for PTE. It's not like some people are getting the score in one day, but may not be you, okay? You might need more practice and more intensive study and more mentorship. Anyway, guys, so that was all my suggestions. And as I said, you do not need to worry much for now, okay? Do your regular preparation. If you want to practice all the questions, you can go to our website, milestonestudy.com.au and do all your practice for 12 hours. It's all free. If you want to do 1,000 questions within 12 hours, go ahead, do it. You won't need to make any single dollar payment. After the trial, if you like our website, if you think it is authentic, you can subscribe to our VIP and then continue your journey. For classes, for appointments, for one-on-one, -on -one, for group classes, I've put the details in the description so you can call us or contact via Facebook and Instagram. You can purchase our PT toolkit as well where you do not have to attend physical classes or online classes. You can just sit at the comfort of your home, watch all the videos which are pre-recorded and then take your test. It's as effective as regular classes, but you have to be disciplined and you just need to trust me. Thank you, everybody. I'll see you in the next video.